Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jinxu. Let's talk about problem 41 in chapter 2. First, let's uh, look at this keyword and we can draw a picture and uh, to see what happens. It tells us, ask us to determine the stopping distance from for a uh, automobile for car with its initial speed. So this one tells us initial speed V1. 95 km per hour, we can convert it to meter per second. Your unit must be international system unit. And uh, we know the human's reaction time is 1.0 second. Ask you to find the stopping distance in two cases. First one is acceleration is negative 5.0 meter per second square. The second one acceleration is negative ne uh, 7 meter per second square. So in this case, uh, let's uh, look at this picture and see what happens. We can see there is a person drive a car and then he need to stop, right? Uh, so stop, slow down, slow down, and stop. So there, the human reaction time is one second. So at the first part, we say this is part one. Okay. At the part one, the time taking is 1.01 second. And this human still moves at the constant velocity, V1, right? And then at there, the human just slows the car, right? Hit the brake and the car slows down. So with the acceleration, negative 5 or negative 7, so negative 5. And the car slows down, slows down, and stop. So it comes to zero. The final velocity is zero. And then what we want to find is the stopping distance. So stopping distance must be from zero. The human at the start of human's reaction time to the where the car stops. Agree? So it should be x1 plus x2. So this is part two. Agree? Yes, so when we want to find the part one, we look at this part. This part is the car moves at a constant velocity, v1, and the time taken is one second. So it's so easy. We can find x1, 26 meter. And then in the first case, acceleration is negative five point meter per second square. We can say we know the initial velocity v1, we know the final velocity v2, and we know acceleration. So the displacement is very easy to get. Use our favorite equation here, and then we find this is 67.6 meter. And then the total stopping distance is x1 plus x2. We get it. Similarly, for Acceleration is negative 7 meter per second square. Still, we look at the power 1, it moves at a constant speed, v1, we can get s1 in the same thing. And the x2, we still have initial velocity and the final velocity. And then we can get this x2 in this equation, right? And x1 plus x2, we get the stopping distance. Now we can plot a vt graph. To see what happens. We can see on this VT graph at the initial, the A and the B are move at the first one second, they are moving at a constant speed, agree? And then the person slow uh, hit the brakes and then slows down, slows down. And the B, case B, it slows fast. So you can see the slope is a bit bigger in the B cases. And this slope is slower, slower. So in this case, we can see the displacement on the VT graph is the area under the line. Of course, the B is smaller than A, right? Because this part. So the displacement, the stopping distance for the for the B is smaller than the A. So that means the larger the acceleration, it will be less displacement. On the brakes, so we hit the brake harder, it will uh, stop quickly and with less stopping distance. Thank you.